before you get the soul glow, you got to illuminate the 12 disciples, which are the 12 cranial nerves, which I was the first to tell you all of this in the conscious community back in 2004. We broke this down. Nobody else was talking about this information on video. Like it didn't exist, like it wasn't even relevant to you. This is the most relevant information that you can ever have. You have the olfactory nerve, which is for the smell. You have the optic nerves, which of course is for vision. You have the acoustic, which is the um, the vesta, uh, bruloco, uh, clear nerve, which is for hearing and balance. You have the glasso Phygenial nerve, which is for taste and throat sensations. You have the um, oculomotor um, and the um, triclear um, and the obdicine nerves, which is for eye movement. You have the, the trigemial nerve, which is for facial sensation and jaw movement. You have the facial nerve, which is for facial expression and taste. Okay, you have the vagus nerve, which is for breathing, circulation and digestion. Why? Because from out of the brain region, it goes, the vagus nerve goes all the way down into the digestive system, into the digestive or the abdominal region. Near the, all right, near the iota. All right, you have the hypoglossal nerve, which is for the tongue movement. And you have the spinal accessory nerve, which is for the movement of the neck and back muscles. These 12 pair of cranial nerves must be illuminated by Kundalini or set. And she comes up through the seven caves and she finds the missing pieces of all saw and put his ass back together again, just like Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall. And upon putting the pieces back together again, Tahuti now got to come in and activate that phallus or pineal or which is the pineal gland in the brain. Of course, the pineal gland is shaped just like the head of the penis. So now the pineal gland becomes engulfed with blood. That's the magic of Tahuti. The place of Saul's phallus back upon his body so that he can give birth to Heru by our set transforming into Ba, the soul. And she flaps her wings rapidly in order to make our soul orgasm. But this is talking about a brain orgasm to produce Heru, Christ consciousness. Get out the stories. That's the problem. You stuck in fantasy land, fables and shit. You too fucking old to be stuck in fables. You are too old to be stuck. What the fuck it look like you be 90, 100 years old waiting for a cracker to come out the sky to save your ass. You too old for that shit. You too old. Get off it. Here's black Jesus with his 12 disciples, all symbolic to the pineal gland and his 12 pair of cranial nerves that we just went over. Oh, here, oh, white Jesus, the pale one himself, the one you got stuck on. You can't see yourself out the way of a paper bag, but he's with his 12 disciples. Oh, but we decoded this shit. Could we find out that that's nothing more than Aries and Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Scorpio, Libra. I mean, um, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. The 12 zodiac signs. And Jesus himself represents the sun. And those three, each one breaks up into three months, which symbolizes spring, equinox, Summer, solstice, fall, equinox, or autumn equinox, and winter, solstice. 
The story of Moses takes place in the Old Testament chapters, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Those four, Jesus' life takes place in four chapters of the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Four is one of the, those biblical numbers codes that designate the three 